It's Monday the 2nd of September and it's about 12 days to my 18th. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, so the theme this week is to talk about school, since schools are starting now. Here in Scotland, schools have been back for a couple of weeks now, but I've left school. I no longer need to go to school. And what I've decided to do in my time is t to take a year out and find a job. Uh, recently I've decided to apply to the Open University to do psychology because psychology is one of these subjects I really want to do. Um, anyway, we were to talk about you know what we liked and disliked about school and the thing is um, with where I stayed in Clay Bank there was a school that used to, ha used to be there and it was called St Columbus. It was a secondary school obviously and that's where I spent the first four years of my higher education. Uh, the way the school systems work in Scotland is from up to about age five, you go optional, you can go to nursery, and then from age five onwards, you have primary school until, so it's primary one to seven, so that's, so that's until you're about 12 that you're in primary school, and then you have four years of mandatory high school, so that takes you up until you're about 16. And then you have two optional years of high school, which are called fifth and sixth year. And that's when you do the higher levels. You do standard grades, but what's commonly been done now in Scotland is you take intermediate two exams. They're like standard grade, but the jump from intermediate two to higher is less of a gap than from standard grade to higher. It's a bizarre system, but it, it works. Um, so up until fourth year I went to St Columbus and then two schools got merged together and that was St Columbus and St Andrews, they were both in the kind of same area and then they got turned into St Peter's the, the Apostle which was a kind of big super school. I quite liked that school, it was good, I met a lot of new people that I'm very good friends with and I probably wouldn't have met otherwise but the, the downside to it is there was too many, there was far too many people and there was not enough rooms per teachers, so some teachers didn't have permanent classrooms. They would rotate on what day happened to be a end classroom in that department. It really did kind of suck, but I did enjoy St. Peter's. It was a great two years, but I did prefer St. Columbus. I had a more kind of kind of laid back, but a more see St. Peter's is more kind of they orientate themselves around more the kind of if you're not in uniform you get punished sort of idea where St. Peter's was the kind of St. Columbus was the kind of you know they let you away with uniform a bit but they were more discipline orientated as in if you behave badly in class and you'd get punished for it. During high school I never really got into any trouble the only time I've ever had like detention that was in primary seven and we had a sub that day and like two people, there was like home egg with people baking in a class and two people were arguing over chocolate and I just went to one of my friends and went fight, 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 fight. And then I got detention for it. It was really bizarre but subs in our primary school used to be dead strict. But um, yeah, but generally during my school years I was kind of well behaved, got on well with people and didn't really get into much trouble. Uh, so my two questions this week were what was my favourite Doctor Who companion? I don't really have a favourite, I'd probably have to say Rory in that case because he's like, I've only watched the new series. Uh, my other question was why does the chicken cross the road? And he crossed the road because of peer pressure. Um, also the other question was what's my favourite kitchen utensil? I would have to be a spoon. Uh, my question this week is what is your favourite day of the week? I'm not very creative and this question goes to have to use the same thing and use my iPod for the cards because I can't find a pack of cards. This video has gone over so I'll probably get punishment. I can live with that because I need to do punishment anyway. Which as far as I know is the um, to is to have a do the cinnamon challenge. So this week the question of what's your favourite day of the week 
goes to Ace and that's Monday. So that's Becky. Becky, what's your favourite day of the week? And I, I'll see you all later.